All right, time to talk weather one more time with forewarned meteorologist Daniel McFarlane. It is Wednesday. The weather was beautiful today, but things are about to get maybe chilly once again. Oh yeah, I think people that really enjoy cold weather though, Angelique, are gonna like this weekend a lot. So you're gonna have highs in the 60s, lows in the 30s, but jackets needed for sure. All right, be prepared mm -hmm. then, okay. Yep, and I think one similarity between what we have going on right now, what you're going to see this weekend is the kind of conditions that we have going on right now across the area. These clear conditions are gonna be continuing throughout your entire weekend and the temperature, that's gonna be the big thing that changes. Now keep in mind, humidity is very low right now. So what that means for you, once you head outside this evening, you're expecting that temperature to fall very, very quickly. As early as about 5.30 or 6, you're already going to have some spots down into the mid 60s and eventually into the 50s by 8 o'clock at the latest. But I think many of us are going to be stopping around 47 to 48 for those low temperatures across the region. Some of the cooler areas could be Green Valley, Saddlebrook, very typical for this time of year for, for you to see some very cool temperatures there. Oracle about 46 for you. That's going to match Sierra Vista's temperature. A handful of spots in Cochise County could get down to the mid 30s, but it's only going to be those areas like Tombstone and Wilcox that you're going to have those absolute coldest temperatures, but they're going to be down below the freezing point coming up this weekend, and we'll talk more about that in a second. But for tomorrow's highs, I do think we're going to take a small step back here. The high pressure that we've been tracking for you over the last couple of days, that's continuing to shift on over towards the east. So what that means for you is that we're going to get out of the 80s, but still be very comfortable in the upper 70s throughout much of your afternoon tomorrow. So I do think it's going to be a great day overall. The difference of what we're going to have tomorrow is that this front's going to be getting closer and closer, but our main impact isn't necessarily going to be any kind of rain. Instead, as this front gets closer to us, the biggest thing we're going to see from it is going to be potential for some stronger wind gusts. So that's what I want you to focus on really tomorrow afternoon if you live in Cochise County and then throughout most of the day on Friday if you're closer towards Tucson. So keep an eye on the time up here. This is at lunchtime tomorrow. Areas like Bisbee, Douglas, Tombstone all could see wind gusts between 15 and 25 miles per hour. If you're closer towards Tucson though, I'm not expecting those kind of numbers for you until we get into Friday afternoon. So before that, I think we're going to be just fine. But once that low pressure center gets a little bit closer, you're expecting that value to go up quite a bit more. So this is going to be what it looks like as it approaches us here. Unfortunately, you are seeing snow around that low, but it's not going to be close enough to bring us any kind of good rain chance or snow chance here in southern Arizona. In fact, I don't think it's going to be close enough at all for us to see much cloud cover from it. So the only impact you're expecting on both Friday and Saturday is going to be that wind and I do think it'll kind of wrap up as we work our way into uh, Sunday and Monday looking a whole lot better there when it comes to the winds a little bit more stable as well. Now when it comes to any kind of rain chance at all even beyond the next seven days chances seem pretty low but not completely ruled on out. You can see that we could be right there in the middle of probability of above or below expected rainfall and I do think we might have one or two chances once we get past Wednesday but until then we are looking at temperatures staying mainly in the 70s every single day over the next week. The coolest days for you are going to be Saturday and Sunday, 65 and 68, but the mornings are the times I'm going to highlight right here because we're down around 38 degrees. So if you do like to get up and exercise in the morning, I'm looking at those two times, Angelique, to be very, very chilly, heavy jackets, gloves if you're going to go for early morning walks, or if you plan on having any uh, kind of outdoors activities at all. Just keep in mind, I think Saturday is going to be a whole lot worse because that wind is going to make it feel that much cooler. And once we get to Sunday, I think it's going to feel a whole lot better during that afternoon at least. All right, things are about to change. Thank you so much, Daniel.